With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry, and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question, and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Today our question is the angle between the lines x is equals to one, y is equals to two, and y is equals to minus one, and z is equals to zero is. So we know that we have given that uh, a line is formed by these two equations. That means x is one, and y is two. That says x lie that says the line lies on x and y coordinates only x and y axis only it is not lying in the z axis so we can say that it will make an angle of theta is equals to 0 degree with z axis right because it has coordinates in x and y so we can say that this line will be parallel to z axis and if it is parallel to that axis then it is making an angle of 0 degree with the x axis so we can say that theta is equals to 0 for z axis that means direction cosine with z axis of this line will become cos theta is equals to cos 0 is equals to 1 and since it has coordinates in x and y axis so we can say that x is equals to 1 that means 90 degrees or the angle between the line so we can say line and x axis so we can say that it will become 90 degree so cos 90 is 0 similarly here also it will make 90 degree so cos 90 will become 0 so we can say that direction cosines of the first line will become 0 0 and 1 0 0 and 1 for the first line right and for the second line this this was for your line 1 and now we are doing the same thing for line 2 in line 2 we have y is equals to minus 1 and z is equals to 0 minus 1 and z is equals to 0 that means the line is uh, lie the line lies in the yz axis right yz axis so we can say that it is making an angle of 0 degree with x axis right because it is parallel to x axis and it is lying in the yz axis so we can right here this is your plane y z plane right so theta is 0 with x theta will be 90 with y and theta will be 90 for z as well right so the direction cosines will become cos 0 is 1 cos 90 is 0 and cos 90 is 0 so direction cosines for line 2 will become 1 comma 0 comma 0 right so now and we have the points also so we can write the equations for first line it is 1 2 and 0 because it is uh, it's not lying on the z axis so we will assume that z is 0 so we will have x minus x1 x1 is given to be 1 upon the direction cosines are 0 0 1 so 0 0 1 y minus 2 right because it is lying on the uh, two, in, 2 intercept so we can say y minus 2 and it is not lying on the x, z axis so we will take z only z minus 0 that will make it z so this is for the line 1 for line 2 our equation will be x y z direction cosines are 1 0 0 right and the line equations is y is equals to minus 1 z is equals to 0 so z minus 0 y minus minus 1 that is y plus 1 and this is 0 so this is what your equation for line 2 now we have uh, find out all the direction cosines direction we can say that these are direction ratios right so we can find out the angle between them angle between them will be dot products of the direction ratios 0 0 1 and 1 0 0 upon root under the coefficients square so we can say 0 square plus 0 square plus 1 square root under 1 square plus 0 square plus 0 square so we are left with 1 square only right mod of this whole term and 0 into 0, 0 into 1 will be 0 into 1 will be 0 0 into 0 will be 0 1 into 0 will be 0 so overall angle will be 0 and if cos theta is 0 so we can say that theta will be equals to 90 degree right so the angle between the two lines is 90 degree and the formula that is being used here is cos theta is equals to 
ए वन इंटू ए टू प्लस बी वन इंटू बी टू प्लस सी वन इंटू सी टू अपॉन रूट अंडर ए वन स्क्वायर प्लस बी वन स्क्वायर प्लस सी वन स्क्वायर ए टू स्क्वायर प्लस बी टू स्क्वायर प्लस सी टू स्क्वायर ए वन बी वन बी टू आर द डायरेक्शन को साइंस ऑफ द टू लाइन्स राइट दिस इज ए वन बी वन सी वन ए टू बी टू एंड सी टू सो डेट इज वॉट योर फाइनल आंसर थीटा इज नाइन्टी डिग्री That means option three is the correct one. Thank you. For class six to twelve, ITJ and NEET level, trusted by more than five crore students. Download Doubt and App today.